Shalom. All praises to the Mosa. Yeho, Yehoshua. This is Sounds from YYB. Parallel compression. What I like about the parallel compression feature inside Reason is that um, when you parallel, when you when you copy the track, you don't have a bunch of of the copy tracks in the sequencer. You know, like for example, like let's go to the mixer, right? So you right click. This is called the main. This is the main track. With that music, I'm never alone. No. Right. So when I right click and I press create parallel, this is a P1 main. Right, so you know I'm gonna bring that level down equal to that one first. Bring the 525, something like or close, something like to that nature, right? That's cool. With that music, I'm never alone. No. So you got a parallel track, but what I like is that it's on the mixer console, but it's not right here in the way of you know, because you might have a whole bunch of tracks. You know, you like this one copy. You know, it it, it might look like this. And sometimes you don't want that. Only time that makes sense, only time I do that and I just duplicate the track is when I want to edit um, a certain part of that track. So, for example, if I duplicate this, right, and let's say I want to cut this part right here, you know, something like that. And then maybe I want to change the tone of this part or something like that. Or I want to change the effect of something on a whole nother level like that in a particular part then that's when it makes sense to you want to copy that track and do a parallel like this. But when it comes to like a lot of the basic stuff, when it comes to a lot of the basic parallel, you know, uh, ideas and tweaking and everything, because the whole idea, you don't want to take away from the original track. Because a lot of the times when you put the effects on that main track, it takes life away from it. The dynamic, once you put the dynamics on there, when you start putting reverbs, delays, and flangers and any effects, sometimes... Those effects can take away the tr the vocals where it makes the vocals sit back more, you know. So, and here you got it like this. So it, it copy it copies it on the on the, on the, on the main on the main track. That's what I like the most about it. So now let's let's tweak this. See how it works, right quick. For those who don't know how parallel, you know, they call it, some people call it parallel compression. You know, you're not always using the compressor. You know, sometimes it's, it's parallel track. You know, because. You're not always using a uh, a compressor or whatever, you know. So let's play it. With that music, I'm never alone, no. So I'm gonna put a little bit of reverb on this the second track. With that music, I'm never alone, no. With that music, I'm never alone, no. So let's solo the main track. With that music, I'm never alone, no. Let's solo the the, uh, the parallel. With that music, I'm never alone, no. You see that? So we play it back. With that music, I'm never alone, no. And it sound, oh, that sound great just automatically. So now you say so you want to put a unison on there to kind of make it sound like more than one person. Let's turn this reverb off and let's listen to this unison cranked up. Solo this. With that music, I'm never alone, no. With that music, I'm never If you don't know what the unison is, it's this great old school plug-in right here. Oh my goodness, this thing is hard, man. I'm sorry. And this is hard too. The the pol the polar, it's like a, a steroids. It's like polar is tough. It got some crazy sounds. You can change the bass, the voices, and everything. Crazy. But it's just something about this unison have a certain unique different sound that the polar don't offer. But you can can't go wrong with either one. So let's play it back. With that music, I'm never alone. No. Music. Matter of fact, let me turn this one off and let me turn the, the dual pitch that we, I just showed you. Let me turn that up. You get what I'm saying? See how that sounds? Sound great. But sometimes if you if you get that effect like that and you put it on the main track and, <clears throat> you know, and you want to crank it up to a point where you can really hear it. It takes away from the lead track. So a lot of times if you put it on the lead track and the whole, you know, you want to turn it down very, very subtle. You can do that. But what happens is that you, you really can't hear it as much unless that's what you're trying to, you know, go to. You know, a lot of times, like, why put something on something when you just can't hear it? But some things is not made to hear. It's really made to feel. But, you know, that's, it's pros and cons with that. Right. But um, 
because the unisons and dual pitches, like these chorus type of you know effects, they are good for when you want to make your vocals sound thick or more than one person. When when people are not really good at doing overdubs, you know, sometimes they do horrible overdubs, and you just like, you know what? Let me move the overdub out the way, and let me just add one of these effects on there right quick. But that's so now let's uh let's turn the unison back on. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Without music, I'm never alone, no. So now, solo it. Let's play it back. Without music, I'm never alone, no. 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 Now check this out. So now, if I want to get real creative, I could just right click and just create another one. Let's create another parallel. That's going to say P2 main. So let's bring this one down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to just EQ, you know, raise those, you know, go down like, you know, to a telephone I did. You know, boom, something real quick. I guess that nature. Let's, let's play this back, see how it sounds. Because a lot of the times when you're doing vocal, when you're mixing your vocals, if you want to make that vocal really stand out <clears throat> and you can put a lot of highs, matter of fact, you can put a lot of highs on the vocals, right? For example, let's do this over again. So let's go back on and we, you can put a lot of highs on the vocals like this, you know, and, and cut that. So you get that that type sound. You, you get what I'm saying. But if you put that on the lead vocals, that it, it, you know, it, sometimes it's not always good. So let's put that on the the, the you know the parallel track, right? And put a little reverb on it. Right, so now let's get all these three playing together. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Yo, that sounds so good, yo. Now let's mute these two parallel tracks and let's play the main joint. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Right, because sometimes you want to keep that original as possible. Even after you put the dynamics on there, right? Because we, we, we only plan a, a, a vocal track that has no dynamic, nothing on it. I'm just trying to give you an example. But say you're mixing that, that vocal track and you got it sounding punchy, but it's it still has its original sound. That's what you want because a lot of artists, you know, you got some who like the creative stuff, you know, sound different with the crazy effects in it. Then you got some artists who want to keep it plain and simple, plain as day. Just sound good. That's it. They want to sound like themselves, and, and you know, over overall, and, and so many, you know. So that's cool because some artists not really confident in their own vocals. I don't know why, but you gotta you gotta be if you're doing music, man. But you know, you know, to each his own. It's, it's all about the engineer and the and the, and the artist trying to build themselves to get an understanding to you know where they can get the best out that artist. So now, <clears throat> so a lot of the times you want to keep the main, the lead vocal simple as possible, but just sound punchy and sound clean. But so, and you use the parallel tracks to do all the extra stuff. Without music, I'm never alone, no. So you unmute these. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Without music, I'm never alone, no. Matter of fact, what I can do on this this track right here. You can get real creative on this jump, right? So let's go to the, the dual pitch, right? Boom, this pitch, this jump right here. And let's go to this bass. Turn this bass right here on the pitch too. You know, turn it up some. And let's crank this crank this up. So now let's let's play a uh, some solo these. Without music, I'm never alone. No. 
That's it. That's it. And you don't have to deal with the, all the stuff you did. You don't have to deal with it on here. So it goes back to the point I was saying when you want to copy, when you make a duplication of this track and you want to add a certain part of that track with a deep voice. I mean, you know, if you want to just add that one piece, then cool. You know, you might need a second track. Um, But if you're not doing anything of that, I think what time stretching, I think pitch correction. You know, there's certain things that you you can be creative on that second track like this. Uh, you don't have to always do it that way. You could just, like I say, you just go to the mixer and do exactly everything I just did right here. With that, with that music, I'm never alone, no. And then sometimes you can get this one and pan it, that one right, pan that one left. With, with that music, I'm never alone, no. With that music, I'm never alone, no. That's it, yo. This is YYBY, peace.